okay welcome in this video lecture in this lecture we are going to discuss the second term which is used in solvent extraction that is distribution ratio distribution ratio is the another term similar to distribution coefficient now see distribution ratio is the term denoted by capital D capital D now consider dissociation of weak acid such as benzoic acid phenol or carboxylic acid during solvent extraction suppose we consider a weak acid capital H capital A H A is the weak acid whenever comes in contact with aqueous phase Javis H A hair types ek acid aqueous phase contact madhe alela sel at that time this H A acid is get distributed as follows that is H A is in equilibrium with A minus and H plus okay so dissociation of H A takes place in this manner that H A is in equilibrium with A minus and H plus ions okay so for this substance whenever it undergoes such type of dissociation in aqueous layer the distribution ratio or distribution coefficient is now modified from can be defined as distribution ratio okay म्हणजे ह्या इक्वेशनचा ह्या डिसोसिएशनचा एक्वियस लेअर मध्ये असणारा डिस्ट्रीब्युशन कोइफिशिएंट डिस्ट्रीब्युशन कोइफिशिएंट इज इक्वल टू कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ एच ए इन ऑर्गेनिक फेज टू द कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ एच ए इन एक्वियस फेज हा जो रेशो होता त्याला आपण म्हणतो डिस्ट्रीब्युशन कोइफिशिएंट बट in this case in case of distribution ratio when substance undergoes dissociation in aqueous phase aqueous phase forget about other phase the distribution coefficient is now modified to distribution ratio and for above equation the distribution ratio now becomes equal to एच ए इन ऑर्गेनिक फेज जे का असेल आपण डिस्ट्रीब्यूट केलेलं आहे ते ऑर्गेनिक फेज मधलं डिवायडेड बाय कॉन्सन्ट्रेशन ऑफ ए मायनस आयन्स इन एक्वियस फेज प्लस कॉन्सन्ट्रेशन ऑफ एच ए इन एक्वियस फेज विच इज अनडिसोसिएटेड लक्षात ठेवा एच ए आणि ए मायनस ए मायनस इज द आयन्स प्रेझेंट इन एक्वियस फेज and h a is the acid present in aqueous phase which is now undissociated so this is the total concentration and the organic phase madhe asnara je concentration hai te upper side la apan gele h a into bracket uh, bracket complete that is organic phase so according to distribution ratio whenever a general acid we have considered that is h a in aqueous phase it is supposed to be get dissociated as a minus and h plus ions at the same time some of the acid remains undissociated in aqueous phase manje ata aqueous phase madhe total concentration kiti ala 
a minus in aqueous phase plus h a in aqueous phase which is undissociated and this is the total concentration present in aqueous phase and ha in organic phase that is the total concentration of ha present in organic phase this is called as distribution ratio now question arises what is difference between distribution coefficient and distribution ratio remember that in this distribution coefficient total dissociation of solute in organic phase and aqueous phase is not considered dissociation organic phase madlo ani aqueous phase madlo kuthe hi consider kele jat nahi fakt kay consider kele jato ratio kiti solute organic phase madhe ahe distribute jhale to not dissociated distributed and how much solute is distributed in aqueous phase to fakt ratio getla to tela apan mantro distribution coefficient kele in distribution ratio d capital d here we are considering dissociation between weak acid in aqueous phase ani manun ithe apan dissociation cha equation varti lelele and then we have going to study the distribution ratio capital d is equal to concentration of weak acid in organic phase ha divided by a minus in aqueous phase that is negative anions present in the acid totally distributed in aqueous phase plus ha which is remains as it is in aqueous phase h is total has a ratio tela apan mantu distribution ratio remember the equation properly so we are going to study this is distribution ratio then next very important term that is efficiency of extraction this is one of the method to find out how much amount of substance or solute is extracted from the provided solvent extraction process by using organic solvent and aqueous solvent system okay samja apan ek process workout keleli solvent extraction chi ek ek sam kela hai त्या एक्सपेरिमेंट त्या सॉल्वेंट सिस्टीम यूज करून आपल्याला किती सोल्यूट एक्सट्रॅक्ट झालं हे फाइंड आउट करायचं म्हणजे वी हॅव टू फाइंड आउट द इफिशियन्सी ऑफ एक्सट्रॅक्शन त्या सिस्टीमची त्या मेथडची आपल्याला काय फाइंड आउट करावं लागेल इफिशियन्सी अँड धिस इफिशियन्सी इज फाइंड आउट बाय युजिंग परसेंटेज ऑफ इफिशियन्सी परसेंट ई परसेंट ई म्हणजे काय इफिशियन्सी ऑफ एक्सट्रॅक्शन और परसेंटेज ऑफ एक्सट्रॅक्शन धिस परसेंट एक्सट्रॅक्शन इज द अनादर टर्म यूज द इन सॉलंट एक्सट्रॅक्शन विच एक्सप्रेस द इफिशियन्सी ऑफ एक्सट्रॅक्शन काय एक्सप्रेस करतं ते इट एक्सप्रेस इफिशियन्सी ऑफ एक्सट्रॅक्शन is it right so percent extraction is the term which is used to find out efficiency of extraction which is calculated by a very simple formula 100 into millimoles of solute extracted divided by total millimoles of solute taken in a aqueous phase फॉर एक्झाम्पल आपण या अगोदरच्या लेक्चरला एक एक्सपेरिमेंट डिस्कस केला होता किंवा स्टडी केला होता दॅट इज झिरो पॉईंट फिफ्टी ग्रॅम ऑफ सोल्यूट इज इनिशियली टेकन इन ॲक्वियस फेज इन लास्ट स्टेप झिरो पॉईंट फोर ग्रॅम झिरो पॉईंट झिरो फोर ग्रॅम ऑफ सबस्टन्स इज लेफ्ट इन अनएक्सट्रॅक्टेड इन ॲक्वियस फेज फाईल झिरो पॉईंट फोर्टी सिक्स ग्रॅम धिस मच अमाऊंट ऑफ सबस्टन्स इज एक्सट्रॅक्ट हे यूज करून कॅल्क्युलेशन आपण त्याची काय फाइंड आउट करू शकतो परसेंट 
एक्सट्रैक्शन मग मिलिमोल्स असतील किती एक्सट्रॅक्ट झाले ग्रॅम असेल किती एक्सट्रॅक्टेड झाले त्यावेळेस तुम्हाला त्याचं ग्रॅम वेट माहिती असलं पाहिजे सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दीज टर्म्स वी कॅन फाइंड आउट द पर्सेंट एक्सट्रॅक्शन सो इफिशियन्सी ऑफ एक्सट्रॅक्शन इज मेजर्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ पर्सेंट एक्सट्रॅक्शन और इफिशियन्सी ऑफ एक्सट्रॅक्शन विच इज डिनोटेड बाय द टर्म पर्सेंट ई अगेन आय विल रिपीट पर्सेंट ई इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड इन टू मिली मोल्स ऑफ एक्सट्रॅक्टेड फ्रॉम द सिस्टीम डिवायडेड बाय टोटल मिली मोल्स ऑफ सोल्यूट टेकन इन अक्वियस फेज इनिशिएट सुरुवातीला सो दिस इज द इफिशियन्सी ऑफ एक्सट्रॅक्शन दे नेक्स्ट दॅट इज द सेपरेशन फॅक्टर how it is separated how the process is carried out no doubt we are taking solute in contact with organic solvent system and in organic uh, aqueous solvent system suppose if the solution to be extracted consists of two solute samjha ek aplyala sample dilele hai and this sample contains two different solutes suppose a and b again i will repeat if the solution which is to be extracted is containing two solutes that is a and b we have separate a from b a pasun aplyala b kay karayche separate karayche then we will using extracting solvent which will be dissolved more quantitatively a and very less quantitatively b okay asha vidhi kay karaycho a ani b aplyala separate karaycho tya solution madhun we are taking extracting solvent mag kutle extracting solvent ghyaycho tar those extracting solvent which is having higher tendency to dissolve a than the b a just to dissolve with b peksha under this condition whenever separation is carried out and we have to express the how much amount of <coughs> quantity is separated then it is expressed in terms of separation coefficient or separatory factor separation factor which is denoted by the letter beta and hence beta is equal to distribution coefficient of a solute to the distribution coefficient of b solute so beta is the distribution separation factor which is nothing but it is the ratio of distribution coefficient of a to the distribution coefficient of b again i will repeat what is separation factor suppose we have to separate two solute a and b okay which is taken in a solution eka solution madhe apan a ghetla hai ani b pan ghetlela hai then we are going to select any extracting solvent which is having tendency to dissolve more amount of a in it then b then the overall process is carried out and the effectiveness of separation is now exp- expressed in terms of ratio that is the separation factor beta which is equal to distribution coefficient of a to the distribution coefficient of b this ratio is called as separation factor denoted by beta okay so we have studied different terms that is distribution ratio capital t efficiency of what efficiency of separation or extraction percentage e and separation factor beta in this lecture in this first half 
we are going to stop here next one we are getting second half okay thank you